This is how you change your life. You set a goal, pick a plan, track your progress, and get motivated. When you hit your goal, you begin again. Goal, plan, track, motivate. You hit your next goal, and the next again and again. You keep getting better, and better, and better still, but you won't settle for better. You want the best. Body Space is a revolutionary social fitness platform built on a simple four-step process. Goal, plan, track, motivate. Within eight months, um, my father, who was, uh, had diabetes, uh, passed away. Then about eight months later, my sister passed away from health issues, and then I got a divorce. And that was all within eight months of my first year of teaching. So once that happened, I kind of sunk into a, a depression and, and fitness no longer became something that was really important to me at that, that, that time. It was more of survival mode and keeping my head above water and just trying to get through each day. And eventually, uh, one of my friends from college um, said, hey, you gotta check out this program. It's on bodybuilding.com. It was a 12-week transformation. And I started in that program and um, after 12 weeks I had dropped about 45 pounds. My name is Josh Black. My body space is Ammon Black. I am 36 years old and I am a professional teacher. I ended up in an unhealthy relationship and I had gained a lot of weight and my health just started to decline and I wasn't happy anymore. And I knew I had to make a change. I wasn't setting a good example for my patients as a physical therapist. And uh, a coworker introduced me to bodybuilding.com and a, a challenge that was there. And so I signed up for the challenge and started reading about everything on bodybuilding.com and it changed my life. I'm Ginger Jernigan. My body space username is G Jernigan. I'm 30 years old and I'm a physical therapist. I wound up being 255 pounds in 2008 after having a back injury. Putting on the pounds really resulted in me being uncomfortable. I'm hardly able to tie my shoes. It was just uh, not who I truly am. When I got my back fixed, I was able to start working on my health and eating better. And it wasn't until I saw on bodybuilding.com there was this diametized nutrition challenge, and I got really excited about it. So I decided to take the 12 week challenge. After 12 weeks, I lost like 40 pounds and saw that I had a lot of muscle, and I was very excited and entered some bodybuilding competitions. I wound up setting the goal of this outlandish goal of becoming the natural Olympia champion for women's bodybuilding. I'm Pam Brown, 46, mother of one, married, and my body space name is Hedgy Hog. I'm an engineer at the local utility company. In 2007, right after Thanksgiving, I woke up the next day, looked in the mirror, and I was completely disgusted with the way I had looked. Ever since I was a kid, I've always known as having big bones, stocky, stocky kid. But when I was looking at the mirror at that time, I had seen that I had ballooned up to 315 pounds. I was dating somebody at the time, and I was basically called fat. I was called unattractive, and I told myself, nah, man, I ain't going out like that. My name is Antonio Wright. My body space username is Ant Rig. I am 33, and I'm a network administrator. Your best self starts with a goal. Whoever you are, this is where you begin. You select a destination before you get in your car. Set a goal before you get in the gym. So my initial goal was that I had to start getting weight off because I didn't want to be called fat anymore. But over time, my goals progressed from, you know, when I started getting into uh, competition, it was more of a, it wasn't a sense of, I'm just trying to look good anymore. I was actually trying to look good to look my best on stage. Goals change, they change, and you have to change with them. Having goals is, is, is imperative to your success. If you don't have a goal, if you don't have a vision, how are you gonna know what direction to head? When you set a goal, you're in charge of that goal. You make the goal, so you know exactly what you're gonna get out of what you're doing. Goals, I like to set some that kind of scare me and push me outside of my limits goals to conquer my fears, and then smaller goals just to make sure I'm having daily success. I think goal setting is really important because it gets you in that mindset 
uh, you start thinking about where you want to be and you have that mind-body connection and your body follows where your mind wants you to go. To reach your goal, you need a plan. A goal without a plan is just a dream. A plan will make your goal a reality. If you don't have a plan, you're going to fail. And everyone needs a plan that you need to have a start, you need to have a middle, and you need to have an end game. Um, one of my favorite quotes is, if you fail to plan, you're planning to fail. I mean, whoever has gone out and tried to achieve something great unless they envisioned it first, and I think of it kind of like a road map. Who, who's ever gone out on a road trip, knew the destination where they wanted to go, but just drove around hoping that they would arrive at their destination safely, right? No one does that, right? You usually do everything you can to set up success. When you have a plan and you follow it, that's how you get to your goals. I think it's extremely important to have a plan because it's your roadmap and you're tracking what you're doing throughout your process of change and getting to your goal. Once your plan's in place, it's time to track your progress. You won't know where to go without knowing where you've been. Keep yourself accountable by monitoring your results. It's funny, I, I see people going to the gym actually on a daily basis, and I'll see them, they'll just go in, they'll work out, and they never track anything. And I always ask myself, you know, how do you know if you're really making any progress? And I've always told myself, you know, numbers don't lie. Mirrors lie, people lie, but numbers never lie. I know that on December such and such, I was able to bench 250 pounds. January 1st, I was able to bench 260 pounds. If I didn't track that, I would never know. It's important to track your progress because you can see how you're coming along. You can see if this plan is actually working for you. You can look at your pictures that you've put online and, and see from week to week, oh, my waist is getting smaller, my biceps are getting bigger. As you go through the process of going through your plan, it's important to look back and reevaluate and see, okay, well, last week during this workout, this is how much weight I was lifting and uh, my energy levels. Was I feeling good that day? Was I sick? Because it's, it's all about, again, pushing yourself. So you can look back and say, okay, well, I did this many reps with this weight. I want to push a little harder this time. So I'm going to increase the weight a little bit more. So the tracking is really important for reflection as far as evaluating how you're doing yourself and your efforts. It's important to track what you're doing so that you can see your progress along the way. Um, having before and after pictures is good, but seeing your progress along the way is even more important because a lot of the times we don't realize how much change we've made um, throughout the process. It's really important for me to see those changes, to know that I'm on the right plan and that I'm on the right track and that I don't need to change things up. The final step is perhaps the most important. Motivation. You must become motivated and motivate others. You have to light the fire and carry the torch. You have to hunger for change and make change possible. Become an inspiration. When I wake up in the morning, I go to bodybuilding.com and I go to the motivation tab. I also turn to my friends on Body Space and I look at what they're posting and seeing their successes and what they're doing and how they're progressing because really it's addictive. It's addictive to look at other people and see their successes. Most importantly, I like to surround myself with positive people that have the same goals that I do. I'm thankful to have a really supportive family who is involved in health and fitness, but I also found a huge support system through Bodyspace and Bodybuilding.com because of all the positive information and all the support you get from the other members online. Staying motivated has been important because I've done this time and time again where I start and then I, I end up falling on my face and just failing and this time what's different is I feel like I, I've kept that in my mind all the time and I've got accountability with my body space members and um, I know that I'm going to be sharing with them later so I don't want to disappoint them or myself. You know, I inspired a lot of people through my transformation story and I'm still staying consistent. I'm still inspiring. Not only have I helped change my own life, I'm helping other people change theirs. This is how you change the world. Join Body Space and change yourself. Body Space is a revolutionary social fitness platform built on a simple four-step process. Goal, plan, track, motivate. It's the world's best personal trainer combined with the largest online fitness community. 
It's a precise system of innovative workout tools, tracking technology, personalized content, and social support. It's the bridge between dream and do. It's absolutely possible to change your life. I changed my life, and there are other countless stories on bodybuilding.com and body space of other people that have changed their life. You can definitely change your life. I'm a prime example of that. You know, I went from a 315 pound beach whale to being here at the bodybuilding.com headquarters. When you finally believe, when you realize it's possible to change your life, you can go from this obese person to this fantastic physique where you've got energy and passion and you're full of life. It doesn't matter where you're at, what low point you're at, how, how far off you think you are, because guess what, there's somebody else that has been just as far off as you are, just as bad as you are, just as overweight or unhappy as you are, and they've been able to work through it, been able to get through whatever situation they had, and that's the beauty of body space, that you can find people that are just like you, that were in that situation that you might be like right now, and look to them for strength because they were able to do it and they got through it and realize that it's not a pipe dream. It's not something that's not gonna happen. It's something that can happen if you believe, if you look to somebody else that's done it. Again, asking yourself, well, that person's done it. Why can't, why can't I do it? This is Body Space. This is how you change your life.